Sleeves here with your Senior Pickleball Report presented by TNC Network. Let's get it going. All right, what can we do to have more feel and touch in our game? A lot of times people go to the paddle. They'll take a particular paddle or choose a particular paddle that has um, a particular thickness to it or softer feel to it. But what we rarely consider are the hands, in particular the fingers, and what they can do and the role they can play in creating more touch, more feel, and more control in our own game. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get started, if you like this content on this channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, checking out our socials. And also, if you're looking to get involved in the game at a bottom, lower level price or want to get somebody else involved in the game, check out A11N Sports. And also, we're starting to have our own shirts. So check those out. There's something on the back, which is on your screen now. These are to play in and for play. So there's cotton style and a style that you can also play in as well. So go to our shop and follow the link in the description. All right, let's get into what's going on with the fingers. Okay, what can we do to create more feeling, touch, and control in our game? Well, we can start with one thing, and that's this finger. People that play a lot of other paddle sports and racket sports, they may have a grip that they brought over from that particular coaching or lessons they've learned or playing styles they have. People that have played tennis um, generally kind of go with a grip that they've learned. People that may have played ping pong or table tennis, a lot of times what you'll see is their finger on the paddle, just like this. And really what that does is it's a sensor of the angle that your paddle is at. It gives your body feedback. It also allows you to know a little bit more about the impact that may have happened during the play and allows you to adjust as you're moving forward or making a shot for the next particular interaction. Um, so try putting your finger on there because really what it does is it just gives you some feedback of what your paddle is doing. Because if you just have it on you know, the handle, you're not always getting what's going on on the face of the paddle as well. And so if you're having a little bit of trouble with control and touch and feel, it's a great way to kind of gain some feedback from your own body. It's, it's just a little sensor. It just kind of gives everything up here an idea of what's going on when you're making impact with the ball. Um, so try that. Let me know if you've uh, done it in the comments and how it's worked out for you and if you have any other tips about where you place your hand and if you do place it on the paddle at all. So, hey, we're always trying to improve here. New things come along. Some things we take and we tweak and make our own. But bottom line is we got to get out there and let's pickle. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.